Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, Ditto, and Boo. The Lucky Pharaohs. It's 6.30 a.m. Good morning, Simba. Good morning, Boo. How are you today? Did you sleep well? I gave the cats some crunchies last night on these white plates, and then I went to bed. So I have to clean them up right now. Good morning, Stella. Stella slept here all night on top of the cat tower. I think she did. Someone slept in the penthouse in my bedroom. I think it was Simba the big one. Good morning, Boo. Good morning, Simba. So this is what's going on outside. Um, yesterday I was cleaning out the refrigerator a little bit and I found some grapes and I did not really enjoy these grapes. They had really, really tough skins and they, they were kind of on the sour side. So I decided to put them outside for the animals and it looks like the animals did not even want to eat them. I just opened the window a little bit so the cats could get some air. They like to get air in the morning. Oh, there we go, there's Boo. They like to lay here and sniff the air. It's kind of cold today. I just opened the other window near this cat tower and this is the other window they like to smell the air out of. Hey Simba. How you doing Simba? Now they're happy, right? Now you're happy? Hello, Stella. Stella moved on to the bed. I'm gonna go and take a quick walk and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna brush the cats and give them breakfast and we're all gonna get on with our day, right Stella? I just got back. I walked one mile, right Simba? And it's very brisk out. I had to wear a winter jacket. It's only like 48 degrees. Hey Stella, how you doing? Hey Boo. I was just about to say that I haven't seen Splash. But there he is. I don't know where he's been. Maybe he was downstairs. Now it's time to brush the cats. The cats all get brushed in the morning. Right, Boo? Boo loves it. They all love it, actually. Stella's getting brushed. And here's Simba. Simba's getting ready to be brushed.
Okay, now we're brushing Simba. Okay, Simba. It's about 8 a.m. right now and the cats are having their breakfast. So this is Boo's meal. He's having some homemade raw food mixed in with some canned food and some water and a few crunchies on top. And this is what the other cats are having. They're having some of the Nature's Variety Instinct Raw Bites with a little bit of canned food and a few crunchies on top. And I have to go buy more cat food uh, either today or tomorrow because we are completely out of commercial raw food other than the bag that I have open right now, which is these Nature's Variety Instinct Raw Bites. I normally like to feed the cats um, one meal a day commercial raw and the other meal homemade raw, except Boo doesn't really like the commercial raw, so he usually gets the homemade raw, but the other cats do like the commercial raw, so that's why I've been kind of mixing it up for them. I think it's good for them to get variety. Also, it helps stretch the homemade raw food that I make. So I made some homemade raw food the other day and it took me two hours to make the food. And if they eat it once a day, it'll last about three or four weeks. And if they eat it twice a day, it'll last only up to two weeks. So that's kind of why I've been uh, giving them commercial raw for one meal a day and then homemade raw. I find that they like the variety and then I only have to make the homemade raw food about once a month. Today they decided they don't want to eat on the platter. Sometimes they eat on the platter, sometimes they don't. So there's Stella, Splash, and Simba enjoying their breakfast. And here's Boo. I guess Boo wants to eat upstairs. So this is a habit that Boo has gotten into, eating up here. I think he likes eating away from the other cats because then they don't try to eat his food. Because if they try to eat his food, he will surrender his food to them. That's just how he is. If anyone else tries to start eating on his plate, he'll stop eating and he'll walk away from it. Maybe it goes back to when the cats were kittens and Stella was a nursing mom and Boo would kind of you know, make sure that they ate first. So um, I would like to get him out of this habit, but for now it's okay. Tomorrow, Boo is taking a ride to the VET for a checkup. I just want to make sure he gets checked out. Right, Boo? So it looks like Stella's still finishing her meal, but the boys left the canned food on their plates. See these two plates with the canned food still on them? Yeah, those are Splash and Simba's plates. Looks like Stella might eat it off those plates. What's going on, Splash? I heard one of the cats fussing and it sounded like Splash. You okay? I think Stella is down there with him and they got in a little argument. Here's Stella. She's watching birds and squirrels through the window. It's 9.30 a.m. and Boo and Simba were playing with some toys here in the living room. Then they kind of just got tired so let me tell you what happened. So Boo was happily playing with his dragonfly toy and with this cat charmer until Simba walked in. And then when Boo sees Simba, Boo stops playing. I think it stresses him out. Either that or he just decides to let Simba play instead. But even now, if I wave the toys around for him, he doesn't want to play with them. He just wants to stare at Simba. And Simba just wants to lay here on the fake grass. But with Simba, I have to be very careful with wand toys, especially with um, a toy like this with the dragonfly on a clear string. Because what Simba likes to do is he likes to chew the string. And he likes to break the string because Simba likes to reverse engineer everything. So this is the last of the uh, string toys that are currently in this house because he's chewed through all of them and then either I have to knot them to try to connect them back together or they're just unsavable. So this one I've been protecting. When it's not in use, I have to put it away where the cats can't get to it. Right, Simba? 
And this is a cat charmer that Grandma Farrell knitted for the cats. This is such soft yarn. I think it's like an, an acrylic that's used for sweaters. It is so soft. The cats love it. And it's really fun colors. So I thought it would be really nice for springtime. So the cats have cat charmer toys that are pretty much themed for almost every season right now. So I have it tied to this stick that was rescued from a store-bought cat toy. It's actually coming off a little bit, but for the most part, it has held on really nicely. Right, Simba? See, Simba likes to chew the sticks also. He likes to unravel things because Simba's the uh, reverse engineer. He likes to figure out how things work and how things are connected, and he likes to undo them. And Boo just likes to play. Boo likes to play, right, Boo? It's 10.50 a.m. I'm just about to go to the post office. Here's Boo. That's okay, Boo. You could stay sleeping on that chair. Here's Stella and Simba. They're taking a nap on the bed. Okay, guys, you relax. I'll be back in a little bit, okay? I'm also going to run a few errands. I'm hoping to go to PetSmart, maybe Petco, and another local pet store to stock up on supplies. It's the end of the month, and I haven't bought any cat stuff this month, so... We need litter and we need some food. It's now about 12.30 p.m. and I just got back from running my errands and this is what I picked up at PetSmart today. So I wanted to thank everyone who sent in gift cards to PetSmart. I used three gift cards today. I have three boxes of cat litter. Those are 20 pound boxes. I have nine cans of Wellness Chicken and Herring Dinner Pate. That is Boo's favorite canned cat food right now. And these are the large cans. They only had nine. Otherwise, I would have bought a full case. I got another bottle of Nature's Miracle Advanced Stain and Odor Eliminator because I only have a little bit of that left. And that is what I use when the cat's vomit or throw up a hairball or something it works so well and it has saved pretty much every rug in the house and they also had these new squeeze ups these are tuna and salmon squeeze ups it was buy three get one free so i got four of them and i hope the cats like them i think the cats should like them so uh, we'll see but once again thank you to everyone who sent pet smart gift cards to the cats i used three of them today and yeah this will be almost a full month's supply of litter. I usually go through at least four of these boxes or sometimes I'll get the litter in the bag, um, but this is what they had today. I'll usually go through uh, at least 80 pounds of this litter in a month. And Boo has been eating this canned food uh, with almost every meal. He gets some raw food, but he likes some canned food mixed in and sometimes all he wants to eat is canned food. Um, so this should last him several weeks also and the squeeze up should last a while, and also the nature's miracle. So what I've been trying to do is I've been trying to uh, shop um, for like one month at a time when I stock up on cat stuff. So this is April's stock up, and then the next time I go will hopefully be uh, at the end of next month. So uh, yeah, thank you to everyone again. This is the Patreon haul, so thank you to all of our patrons this month. I used some of the funds at the store where I purchased the raw food for the cats. This is frozen raw food, and there's also two bags of freeze-dried raw. So there's a bag of turkey and sardine 
uh, frozen raw. It says for dogs, but the cats like it. They don't get it every meal, and the ingredients are pretty much the same exact ingredients as the cat food. Um, it's 86% turkey, sardine, organ, and bone, and 14% produce and supplements, which is fine for cats, and I have spoken to my vet about that in the past, and he has no problem with that either. Um, there's a bag of the Primal uh, Nuggets for Cats Chicken and Salmon Formula. Uh, the cats like that. And then I have two bags of the Instinct Raw Longevity. These are the Chicken Bites for Cats. I got two bags of those. What I've been trying to do is make sure that the cats get a nice variety of food. So um, the cats get um, some Primal, some Instinct, and homemade raw food also. So uh, they get half of their meals are homemade raw and half of their meals are the store-bought raw. It works well because they get a nice variety that way. It saves me money because the homemade raw is much cheaper, um, and then it also helps to extend the homemade raw because then I don't have to make it like every other week. I could just make it once a month, like a really big batch. So it tends to work out well. So these four bags of the frozen raw should last about a month, again, because the cats are not just eating this exclusively. Um, and then I also got two bags of freeze-dried raw because Boo tends to like that recently. Um, I got the Stella and Chewy's Absolutely Rabbit and the Stella and Chewy's Salmon and Cod. They've never had the Salmon and Cod before, so I hope they like that. Um, with these freeze-dried raw bites, uh, the cats sometimes enjoy them as a snack. Um, sometimes they enjoy them as a meal topper. You can uh, crumble them on top of their food and they like it that way. You can also reconstitute them with water and feed them as a meal. Another way that I use them is if I'm away for a weekend or an overnight trip and the cats are eating out of their automatic feeders and if I don't want to put like fresh raw food in there I'll put some freeze-dried raw in there and they like it that way also. Sometimes they get it as a treat and sometimes they get it as a meal. So I find those to be very versatile. So once again, I want to thank all the patrons for their support this month. This is where the funds go, and the rest of the funds went to pay for Ditto's final expenses. I'm still waiting to pick up his photo urn, and I just got the bill for uh, his cremation. So thank you so much to all the patrons. Your support is very, very helpful. It's 2.25 p.m. and I just brought this carrier upstairs uh, to get it ready for tomorrow. And there's a fresh training pad inside because Boo has a tendency to have accidents on the way to the vet. He gets so scared that he usually poops in the carrier like right before we get there. It's usually within minutes of getting there. And I think I'm gonna spray it down with some of the Pet Remedy Spray because that usually relaxes the cats. And I'm just gonna leave it here with the door open the rest of the day so the cats could kind of just, you know, check it out. And um, then tomorrow, um, fingers crossed, I'll be able to get Boo into it without any major issues. Here's Simba, Simba's relaxing on the bed. How you doing, Simba? Here's Stella, Stella's taking a nap. That's her favorite spot on the bed. The cats have their favorite spots on the bed that they like to lay on every day. And there's Boo, that's his favorite spot. And Splash is still in the penthouse, that's his favorite spot. Where's Splash? Boo, you wanna have a little talk? Because tomorrow we're gonna to take a ride in the car, all right, Boo? Like we've talked about this before, and we're gonna take a ride in the car, we're gonna visit our friends, and then we're gonna come home, okay, Boo? So there's no reason to go crazy and howl and meow and cry and carry on because it's just going to be a nice ride in the car and we're going to visit our friends and then we're going to come back, okay? And then you'll get some treats. When we get home, you'll get some treats and you could have a special meal if you want a special meal, okay? And when we're there, our friends are going to touch you, okay? So they're going to look in your ears and your eyes and your mouth and they're going to rub your belly and they're going to just check you out, make sure you're nice and healthy, and then you're going to come home, okay? So I'm just letting you know now it's going to be a very nice day. We're going to take a little ride in the car and then we're going to come home, okay? Okay, good. You're going to cooperate? Boo says he'll cooperate. He says it sounds like a nice day. 
course he says that now. We'll see what happens tomorrow. It's 6 p.m. I just came into the living room to film a mail time video and Splash was laying in the carrier. He was just hanging out in the carrier and then when I sat down here, he came running out of the carrier. It's all because I sprayed it with the pet remedy spray. The cats love that pet remedy spray. The cats love that pet remedy spray. That's why he was hanging out in it. Here I am thinking I'm never going to be able to get Splash back in a carrier to ever take him into like a vet for a checkup. I'm going to have to somehow find a house call vet that will come to the house. And there he was laying in the carrier. Of course, the minute I came in, he ran out. Well, look at this. Look, Simba's going in now. Is Stella going to go in? They're all looking like, what's going on here? There's Simba inside the carrier. Speaking of house call vets, um, I did find a vet that uh, will make house calls um, when Ditto was still here. And the vet refused to come out to see Ditto. And I thought that was just such a horrible, horrible thing for a vet to do. I don't know if it was because I told them that I wanted another opinion for his condition or because he was previously a feral cat. I think it was because he was previously a feral cat and the vet uh, was afraid of that. So um, I was just really not happy with that. And I cannot believe that a vet would do such a thing, but uh, yeah, that's what happened. So, um, so there's Splash right now. He's like, what's going on? And there's Simba, Simba's claiming it. There's a fight going on over this carrier. Can you imagine two cats fighting over a carrier? They hate carriers. What's the matter, Stella? Leave Simba alone. Let him just hang out in there. I think she might have been biting his butt. You're biting his butt. Stella, are you biting his butt? Look at this. He's happy and he's purring. Now he's taking another bath. For dinner today, the cats are having some homemade raw food with a few crunchies on top and a little bit of a freeze-dried raw bite sprinkled on top. And they're also having some of the frozen raw bites um, along with the homemade food. And this is what Boo's having. Boo's having some canned food that I mix a little water in. It's the wellness chicken and herring pate. Then he's having some raw food. He's having a Stella and Chewy's salmon and chicken bite, uh, which is freeze dried and I crumble it on top of the food. And then he's having a few crunchies. What are you eating, Splash? There you go, Splash. I usually move Boo over a little bit so that way he doesn't get into a fight with Stella or Simba. It's 10.30 p.m. I'm just about to go to bed and look where Stella is sleeping. She's sleeping in the carrier. These cats are so funny. Let's hope I can get Boo into it just as easily tomorrow. Good night, Stella. Good night, Simba. Good night, Splash. What are you doing down here, boo? What you doing down here, boo? Okay, boo, it's time for bed. Bedtime for boo. Bedtime for boo. Good night, boo. Good night, boo. Good night, boo.
Good morning, Boo. It's about 6.30 a.m. Boo slept on the bed all night. Good morning, Simba. He's still sleeping. Good morning, Stella. Looks like Stella slept in the penthouse. Good morning. There's Splash. Splash is sleeping on one of the dining room chairs. I just turned the light on so we could see him. I'll turn the light off because he wants to go back to sleep. It's 7.45 a.m. I'm just about to go outside and take a walk and here's Stella. And there was a squirrel on the table eating the grapes. So it looks like there's only three grapes left. Someone must have ate all the grapes overnight. And there was just a squirrel on the table, so I know a squirrel was eating some of them. Okay, Stella, you gotta let me out. Wanna smell air? Wanna smell the air? So the window in the bedroom's open. She can smell the air there. I guess she wants to smell it here. Did you smell enough? There's the squirrel. Can you see the squirrel? Stella wants to go after it. And there's Simba. Simba's like, what's going on here? What's going on here? Do you smell the squirrel? Okay. Okay, come on. Let's go. It's still very cool out today. I think it's around 53 degrees. And it's an overcast day. And later we're going to get rain. I just hope... The rain holds up until this afternoon, until I'm back from the VET with BOO. Okay, Simba. Let's go. Move over. Move over. Move over. Move over. got home from my walk and here's Stella. Hey Stella. And here's Boo. It's really nice to go for a walk in the morning when it's really quiet and people are still sleeping. And what I noticed today is that there are quite a few houses that still have their Christmas decorations up and it's the end of April so um, I don't know if they keep them up year round or they just haven't taken them down this year yet. And I even saw a house that had Easter decorations up along with their Christmas decorations. They had a big wreath and a big Merry Christmas sign on their house and Christmas lights. And then on the front door, they had an Easter wreath. So I thought that was interesting. I also noticed that most houses don't have any kinds of flowers in their yards yet. There's very few houses with uh, early spring flowers. And there's Boo, he's hanging out near the carrier. So I'm trying to keep the schedule pretty much as normal as possible this morning. I did get up a little bit later than I would have liked, but that's okay. Here's Stella, and I know the cats wanna eat, but so here's my plan for the morning. I am going to eat something and then I am going to brush the cats because that's part of their morning routine, right Stella? And then they're gonna get some play time because I want to make sure Boo gets a lot of energy out. And then they'll get uh, their breakfast and I might give Boo a breakfast that I know he does not like so he doesn't eat it. And that way, maybe there won't be an accident in the carrier on the way to our appointment today. Um, so, we'll, so we'll see how it goes. The biggest challenge of the day is getting you-know-who into you-know-what. So if I can accomplish that, then um, things should go okay. Right, Stella? Okay. This is what happens when I play with Boo. Simba just plops himself right down. 
Well, at least Boo's still continuing to play today. Because yesterday when Simba did this, Boo's like, that's it, I'm not playing. See, Simba likes to go for the string. You can't have the string, Simba. Simba, you have your own play. You'll have playtime later. You'll have your playtime. Okay, you want a different toy? See, if Simba was not here, Boo would be jumping around. But because Simba's here, Boo has to be more reserved. Because that's what he does. See, something like this, Simba could chew apart as much as he wants. The cats are all getting a snack this morning. I don't know why Splash is not eating his. That's his plate in the back. So they're all getting a churu and they're getting a drop of Rescue Remedy in the Churu. That's a flower essence that uh, works for calming and reducing stress. And they're also getting about three or four drops of CBD oil for pets. And that's nowhere near a full dose, but it's hopefully enough just to take the edge off um, with regards to any stress that they're under today. And I put them in churros because they like churros and I'm giving it to them as an appetizer. They have not had their breakfast yet. They just had some playtime, but sometimes when they're hungry, they don't really like playtime. They're like, okay, let's just get straight to the food. And it does not matter if one cat eats more than one plate because there's not a full dose of anything in there. And as far as the rescue remedy goes, they could have, you know, two or three drops of that without any problem. Okay. I just wanted to really make sure that Boo got his portion. So it is 9.05 right now. And I think I'm going to start around 10 15 um with today's mission which is trying to get you know who into you know what um the vet appointment is at 11 and it takes about 20 minutes to get there without traffic so i'd rather get there a little bit early and have uh, boo sit there than um you know be really late so i'm hoping i also have to make sure i leave enough time that um, if I do have issues and I need to chase him around the house or um, try to get him out from underneath something, that I'll be able to do that. What's going on this morning that is freaking out the cats is that there is some construction work being done on the house next door. And so there's been some banging this morning and it's been kind of stressing them out. They don't like that, so. Looks like Stella really enjoyed the snack today. I think she had maybe two and a half of them. This is what she does. She goes to the plates looking for leftovers. Did you like that, Boo? It's 9.20 and I gave Boo a plate of food that I didn't think he likes. And he was sitting there eating it. I just turned the camera on and he walked away. And that's what Stella's been waiting for. Because if I don't pick up the plate, she'll eat it. That's what she's thinking about right now. She's looking for Boo. See, see? She didn't see Boo, so she's gonna finish the food. This is why I have to pick up his plates. This is one of the blue baby blankets that I got at the Dollar Tree when Ditto was still here. So I had picked up probably like 10 of these for Ditto. Um, I, it was like five pink ones and five blue ones. And these are the little blankets that I would put in my lap and then he would lay in them. 
um, and he really loved these. And I got them because they were very inexpensive and I would throw them in the laundry and they lasted really well, even being laundered like every other day. For the price, they're really good quality. I mean, how can you beat a dollar for a little baby blanket or for a pet blanket? I believe it's 100% polyester. Uh, now they're $1.25 because prices have gone up. But about two weeks before Ditto passed away, I picked up about 10 more of these, uh, more pink ones and blue ones. They also had different patterns, but I didn't really like the patterns. I like the plain colors. What I have found is that these work really great for a carrier cover. So I used to use a towel on top of the carriers when I would take um, the cats anywhere. And the reason why you want to cover the top of the carrier is because it keeps the animal inside much calmer. Uh, they stay calmer if they can't see what's going on outside and especially if they're riding in a car it seems to keep them calmer so i've been using towels for that purpose and towels can be bulky and heavy and these are thin and lightweight so i found that these work really really great to cover a carrier and they don't add any extra bulk or weight when you're trying to carry the carrier into uh, a facility for example especially when you're dealing with a bigger cat and all the cats that i have are big every time they see a vet the vets are like oh these are big cats they're just physically large in size even ditto is a large cat so this is what i am going to be using today on top of the carrier this was on the day sofa and there was actually three of these on the day sofa and the cats were kind of laying on them and this one was kind of rolled up as like a pillow i don't think they're really using it but I think it will help also with keeping um, the passenger calm because it will smell like home and it'll smell like the passenger. It's 10.20 a.m. and it took three tries to get Boo in the carrier because he kept fighting it. And thankfully I learned that technique that I used with Ditto where I kind of used both of my arms as like vices on both sides of him. And then I was able to get him in that way. Also, I think he's feeling the effects of some of the CBD oil and the rescue remedy because he was just hanging out on the chair in this room and he was super, super calm. And then I put some crunchies on the floor and he didn't even want the crunchies. But then I put a paper plate on the floor and then I put the crunchies on the paper plate and then I was able to uh, pick him up that way. But even now, He's being surprisingly calm. He's probably calmer than I am right now. Uh, I'm just super, super happy I was able to get him in the carrier finally. He did run out of the room um, and I was able to get him. Um, he was by the windows in his room. I was able to pick him up there. But usually, like usually he'll try to bite me if I do that um, because sometimes he really just does not want to be picked up. But I honestly think it's the combination of the rescue remedy and the CBD, again, only a few drops. And I also used the pet remedy spray in here yesterday. So I am gonna stop talking. I'm gonna put the blanket over this. I'm gonna take him out to the car. And I have to be really careful because if you're a long time viewer of this channel, you know that one of Boo's nicknames is Boudini because he's really good at getting himself out of carriers. Um, I double checked the front door in this carrier, which is this door right now to make sure that it's not gonna come loose and uh, the top should be pretty secure also. So um, hopefully there will be no issues. Right now he's trying to pop his head out the top. We have to remember that Boo has not left this house since 2019. That was his last vet visit. That's why he's going to the vet today to get checked out. Um, he has uh, been outside in like the stroller and stuff, but uh, fingers crossed he doesn't uh, flip out uh, in the car and he's relatively calm in the car. Okay, boo? It's 10.35. We're in the car. I'm just about to leave. And we have just enough time to get there for the appointment. I'm sure it'll be fine if we're a little late, but the minute I put boo in the car, he started howling. So hopefully he's not gonna howl the entire ride. So what I hate about this is the way that Boo's howling because he never howls like this inside of the house so he's clearly in 
some kind of distress. Like we know what the distress is. It's the stress of being taken out of his environment. He, re he doesn't know where he's going even though I've told him. He doesn't understand he's coming back. I definitely need to just start digging around and trying to find some kind of decent house call vet uh, that can come to the house. Um, there has to be a decent one around here because why should I put a cat through this just to take them to the vet? Like he is seriously, seriously not happy right now. We're about four minutes away from the vet's office. We're gonna make it there on time. And Boo's been pretty good. He has not been howling the whole time. It's only like intermittently. Like sometimes he'll howl and then he'll be quiet for a little while. So that's, that's good. We're in the vet's office and Boo's being good so far. The vet tech weighed him. He weighs 14 pounds and 10 ounces, which is pretty much what he weighs at home. So it's good to know the home scale is accurate. And we're just waiting for the vet to come in. It's 12 p.m. We just got out of the vet's office and Boo did very good. And he had a full exam and the vet said everything seems to be okay. And the vet said he's a little bit long in the tooth because he has really long fangs. And I told the vet that he always had long fangs. Because of his teeth issues, the vet uh, didn't know if his fang teeth are uh, starting to move because they can like move forward and eventually fall out or uh, if that's just how his teeth are. So it's something to keep an eye on, but it's nothing like major. Um, and then Boo had a blood test. Um, just because he hasn't had a blood test in a long while, so he's going to have like a full blood workup. And uh, the results should be back in a few days just to make sure all his levels are okay with everything. And I had a really long conversation with the vet about uh, food and supplements and um, just like natural treatments. And we talked all about ditto and uh, different things that I tried for ditto. And he was actually taking notes on the things that I was telling him that uh, I had used on ditto and about some of the information that I found out um, with regards to ditto situation. So I thought that was uh, really cool. So if and when I actually write all the information down in a cohesive form, I'm definitely gonna give it to him because he thinks it can be helpful for uh, some of his patients. So we had a very interesting conversation and it really reinforced my reason for coming here uh, versus going to a vet that's more local or even um, trying to find a vet that comes to the home. I would still like to find a vet that makes house calls just in case I ever needed it um, for like Splash for instance. Like it's really really hard to get Splash into a carrier or to a vet. Like I don't even know if that's possible. Based on the conversations I just had with this vet, it was totally worth the 20 minute drive to get here. And I wish there were more vets that had uh, the level of knowledge that this vet has and just the level of understanding with regards to um, what's actually healthy, what's not healthy, what's a beneficial treatment, what's not a beneficial treatment and stuff like that. So I'm I'm very happy with how today's visit went and I'm hoping that Boo's blood work comes back fine and the vet said that Boo's the same weight he was the last time he was here and everything seems to be okay so hopefully everything will be okay and the next time Boo comes in everything will also be okay then too so um, he said Boo seems to be doing well. We just got home and I've been giving Boo a churu in his carrier. Here you go. Eat a boo. You hear something? Here. Uh oh, I think he might have pooped. Oh no, it smells like poop. I think he might have pooped in the carrier. Anyway, I just got a phone call that Ditto's photo urn is ready to pick up. So I'm going to put Boo inside and get some lunch, and then I'm going to go and bring Ditto over to the cremation company and you're gonna put him in his new urn. Okay, boo, let's go inside. So this is what I did when I got inside. I brought Boo in the carrier down to this bathroom downstairs where the cats have all of the litter boxes. And then I shut the door so uh, when he gets out of the carrier, he's not gonna run around and potentially get poop everywhere because I didn't know how messy it was going to be. Thankfully, um, he really didn't have any poop on himself, but I do have pet wipes here, so I wiped him down with all the pet wipes. 
And then when I opened the door, he left the room. Let's take a look in the carrier. Do you see what Boo did in the carrier? So he made a poop. Thankfully, it's a solid poop and it's not like diarrhea everywhere. And that's exactly why I have these training pads in this carrier. I honestly thought that this was going to be the first time that Boo had gone to the vet without pooping in the carrier. Um, but no, nope, he waited until we were a few minutes away from home and then he pooped in the carrier. So uh, maybe it was my fault for trying to give him a churu while uh, we were in the car. Um, but at least uh, it's not going to be too bad to clean up. It's 1.35 p.m. Here's Simba. He's sleeping in this cat tower. Here's Stella. She's laying on the bed. Here's Splash. He's in the penthouse. And here's Boo. He just jumped on the bed. He's been wandering around the house. He's still excited from his big adventure today, right, Boo? He got some crunchies when he came home, right? And he got another churu. And he got some food. So Boo should be all set, right? You gonna take a nap now, Boo? Boo, you can take a nap now, okay? And I have to go take Ditto's ashes to the cremation company and get his urn. And then I'm actually gonna take Boo's poop uh, from the carrier back to the vet and I'm gonna have it tested just to make sure that it's not positive for worms uh, Because Ditto's fecal test was positive for worms and just in case there was any cross-contamination I figure I have the sample. It's pristine um, It's not even in any litter. So might as well have it tested. So um, We'll see how that comes out, right Boo? Boo says he's done with tests today he says, he's had enough. He's had enough of vets, right? You did so good, Boo. Boo, you did so good today, Boo. You're a good boy. It's 9 p.m. and it's snack time for the cats. And they just tried these Stella and Chewy's salmon and cod freeze-dried dinner morsels. And all the plates are empty. Look at that. So uh, these are a hit with the cats tonight. And I'm going to give them a few more. Here's Stella. Stella even ate them. And Stella usually does not like seafood treats. But we could see that Simba is eagerly awaiting more treats from the bag. He's even thinking about taking some of the treats out of the bag. But he really wouldn't do that because he's too polite for that, right, Simba? Even Splash enjoyed them. Okay, guys, you want more? Splash practically inhaled his. He ate his so fast. And Simba ate his really fast. And Boo ate his. And Splash is eating Stella's. This is what they look like. Um, some of them have gotten pretty crumbly in the bag already, um, but they just look like large freeze-dried treats. I'll give the cats one more each and then that'll be it. These are also really soft 
for freeze-dried treats. Sometimes freeze-dried food can be kind of hard. But these are soft. Not soft like chewy soft, but they're just not as uh, firm. They have a lighter texture to them. So yeah, the cats like them, so that's good. Now, you can reconstitute these if you want to feed these to cats as a full meal, um, or you can crumble them on top of cat food and use them as a topper. Again, this is a very versatile uh, product. And and this is the Stella and Chewy's freeze-dried raw sea licious salmon and cod, 98% fish bone and organ dinner morsels. Now the cats each got about one tablespoon of crunchies and that's it that's their snack for tonight Stella you're not eating your crunchies Eat your crunchies, Stella. What's the matter? You don't like them? You don't feel good? Stella, you don't feel good? You don't want to eat your crunchies? Why? You don't like this brand? You want something different? Stella, I just gave you different crunchies. You want those? You like those better? You don't want these either? Stella, what's the matter? You don't feel good? Stella's been eating a churu. I needed to make sure she was feeling okay. It's usually not like her to not want to eat crunchies. But I figure if she ate a churu, then that's a good sign. I know Stella's not feeling well when she doesn't even want a churu. Okay, good job, Stella. You got it all. You got it all. Let's squeeze it up from the bottom. Anything left in there? You're going to get it all. You get it all. There you go. Okay, there it is. There it is. Good job, Stella. Good job. It's 7.30 a.m. We're getting a bit of a late start today. Because we're super tired from yesterday, right, Boo? A big part of yesterday was filled with unexpected appointments, like picking up Ditto's urn and then going back to the vet oh, with booze poop. Um, and then I ended up running a few other errands because I was out, so I was like, I might as well get those done. So yesterday was completely off schedule. And then I was trying to catch up with work later on into the evening. So I got to bed really late. And now today we're a little bit late getting started, but that's okay. Hopefully today will be a nice day. It's supposed to be in the high 50s with sun. It'd be nice to have some sunshine. The windows open a little bit because it's still cold out. If it was warmer, I'd open the window wider. Good morning, Slash. How are you today? I put some bird videos on the tablet for Boo because Boo is in here. But it looks like Splash is watching them now. Good boy, Splashy. Good morning, Simba. Simba says he's not ready to get up yet. He's still very tired. And here's Stella. When I woke up this morning, Stella was sleeping on my pillow right next to my head. 
Then she jumped off the bed after getting a few pets. Stella likes to get pets in the morning. She lays first claim to me in the morning. All right, Stella? The cherry tree in my front yard is in full bloom. It is 8 a.m. and it is weigh day for the cats. I usually like to weigh them every Wednesday. Boo does not need to be weighed today. He was weighed yesterday at the vet and it's really nice to know that my scale is just as accurate as the vet's scale. This is a Tanita inner scan body composition monitor scale. This scale is so old. This was one of the first, if not the first, uh, body fat scales that came on the market almost 20 years ago. The scale is so old, but it's really, really good quality and it is the most accurate scale I've ever had. I've had other less expensive scales uh, since I got this one and they're just way off. So what I normally do is I step on the scale and I weigh myself. And then what I do is I pick up a cat and I step on the scale while I'm holding a cat and then I see what I weigh holding a cat. And then I take that weight and I subtract my weight alone without holding the cat. And that's how I find out how much the cats weigh. And uh, it works out pretty well. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Here's Simba and the results are in. And both Simba and Stella are the same exact weight that they were last week, right Simba? For breakfast today, the cats had a primal raw chicken and salmon nugget, which is about 40 calories. And then they each had about a third of a cup of the Nature's Variety Instinct Raw Chicken Bites, which is about 33 calories. So we're looking at about 75 calories there. And then they have a few crunchies sprinkled on top of their foods and that might be another 10 or 15 calories. So they're getting 80 or 90 calories with their breakfast, and what they weighed today was the exact same as what they weighed last week, which was the exact same as what they weighed the week before. Boo's a very good weight for his size, and Stella, Simba, and Splash weigh a few pounds more than Boo does. So I would like to see them closer to Boo's weight, and that's not something that you want to do quickly with cats, but you want to do it more slowly. So if they lost like 0.2 pounds a week, I would be really happy with that. So there's obviously two reasons why you want to weigh your cats on a fairly regular basis. You might not want to do it on a weekly basis. Maybe you want to do it on a monthly basis. You want to make sure they're not gaining weight. You also want to make sure that they're not losing weight. So like with Ditto, um, I was weighing him probably uh, once a week or every other week. And he was stable for a while, and then he started losing weight. And then that's when I was trying to uh, boost his weight with some uh, extra supplements or some extra protein and stuff. Because when a cat loses weight unexpectedly, it can be a symptom of a health issue. And Ditto was dealing with lots of different health issues. So um, so those are just some of the reasons why it's it's good to weigh your cats on a regular basis. And Stella hates it. Stella absolutely hates it. Um, whenever I pick her up, she fights it. Sometimes she runs and hides under the tables. So I give her like a churu or a squeeze up afterward. And then um, hopefully that makes up for it. But Simba has no problem. Simba just lets me pick him up and then he gets a dried sardine afterward. All right, Stella. Stella says it's very impolite to talk about a lady's weight and that she's not happy that I'm doing that. Stella, I'm not talking about your weight in particular. I'm just talking about weight in general like you and Simba. We know you guys are both very, very fluffy. You both have very, very thick fur, and Simba has even longer fur than you have. He has thick and fluffy fur. You guys have different fur than Boo. You know that, right? Stella says that she and Simba have very different fur than Boo, and that is true. Their fur is much thicker and denser than Boo's fur. Boo's fur is nowhere near as fluffy as Stella and Simba's fur. Splash's fur is more like Boo's fur. It's just like not as thick as um, Stella and Simba's fur. Even though compared to a cat eating like a regular diet, they have really, really thick fur. Like when Boo was at the vet yesterday, I was amazed at how thick and velvety his fur was. Sometimes you don't realize it when you're in your home environment, but then when I took him out of the home environment and I took him to the vet, when he was on the vet's table, I remember thinking that 
I remember thinking, wow, his fur is so thick right now. Here's Boo's plate. He's been eating underneath the kitchen table today. So he had half canned food and half raw food. And it looks like he ate the half canned food. I didn't mix them together today because I just wanted to see what he would do. So I'll mix a little bit of canned food into his raw food and then he'll probably eat it. It's about 9.30 a.m. right now and I'm on my way to the post office. It's 10.30 a.m. and I thought I would show you the cat grass that is growing on the windowsill in the kitchen. Later today, I'll be giving this to the cats so that they can have a snack on it. And it's growing in a windowsill planter that I made out of little plastic organizers from the Dollar Tree. It's 2.45 p.m. I just got a call from the vet's office with regards to Boo's blood work and they said it came back fine. Everything came back normal, so that was really good. So my vet's office has a policy that no news is good news. So when you have a test done there or anything, if they don't call you, it means everything is fine. And so when I saw the number pop up on my phone, I had like a mini heart attack. I was like, oh no, what is wrong now? Because he had the fecal test done and the blood test. So the first thing I thought was that they were gonna tell me that he had worms. But thankfully, they just told me that uh, it was a normal blood test. So that was good news, right, Boo? Good news. Now we can relax, right? Boo says he's been relaxing all day. I'll open the window a little bit wider for you. It's, it's still kind of chilly out today. It's only about 60 degrees. And uh, I can't wait for the warmer weather to get here. It's 4.15 p.m. I guess Stella was grooming her ear. Stella, what happened to your ear? What are you doing with it? What are you doing with your ear, Stella? Were you grooming it? I gave Simba the cat grass and he's thrilled. Boo was eating some of it in the kitchen. I'm surprised Simba didn't get up and uh, find it in the kitchen. He's been taking a nap all day, but he's definitely enjoying it. It's 8.40 p.m. The cats are watching mice videos on the tablet. There's Stella, she's in charge. There's Simba and there's Splash. It's 9.30 a.m. and here's Stella, she's hanging out on the bed. Grandma and Grandpa are coming over today. And I think they're bringing something special for Splash and Simba's birthday. So Splash and Simba have a birthday at the end of April or the beginning of May. We don't know exactly what day they were born, but we know the approximate time frame. And so we usually celebrate around this time. And when Grandma gets here, she's going to be knitting them a cat toy one of the cat charmer toys that they love. I found some yarn that reminds me of a birthday cake. So she's gonna make a toy out of it. Here's Simba, he's smelling the air this morning. 
And this is the yarn. Isn't it cute? It really reminds me of a birthday cake. It's like white with a little bit of pastel blue, pastel pink, and pastel yellow. Like an old school birthday cake. And here's Bowie's in his office. These cat towers are Boo's office. He's doing his job, looking out the windows, making sure there's nothing strange in the yard. Right, Boo? The cats had their breakfast a little while ago. They have fresh water. Um, I have to scoop the litter boxes. That's one thing I haven't done yet. I'm just about to go out and run some errands, so I'll be back, Boo. You keep an eye out for your grandma and grandpa, okay? Splashes on top of the cat tower. When grandma and grandpa get here, he's going to hide, probably under the bed. Or he might run downstairs. He likes to hide downstairs also. Here's Bowie just moved to the bed. This is his favorite spot on the bed, right, Boo? He says, right. He says, where's his girlfriend? Grandma is Boo's girlfriend. He says, where is his girlfriend? Why is she taking so long to get here? And Stella's a little bit upset about that because Stella's Boo's girlfriend, right, Stella? Right, Stella? She doesn't like it when Boo's a two-timer. Boo says he can't help it. He's a ladies' man. Boo loves the ladies, right, Boo? Oh, there goes Splash under the bed. It's 8.15 a.m. We're getting another late start today. We were up pretty late yesterday. And here's Stella. She's laying in the bed watching mice videos. Boo just walked in the room. He's going to go over to the cat tower and probably scratch on it. He wants the window open, so I'm going to open the window for him. So it ends up he does not want the window open. What he wants is the tablet that's been on this grass square. Boo says, where's his tablet? Okay, Boo, I'll get you your tablet. I just gave Boo a tablet with the mice at night video on it. He loves that video. So yesterday I was downstairs and I was cleaning something up downstairs. And Boo was the only cat in this room. And it sounded like someone walked in the front door and was walking around the room. Like I thought grandma and grandpa had arrived. And then I walked upstairs and I was like, no, they're not here yet. It ends up it was Boo and he was attacking a tablet. So he was going crazy trying to uh, jump on it and stuff. It's 8.45 a.m. Look at Simba. He's just hanging out on top of the cat tower. He's looking very relaxed and comfortable. Simba, Simba, you relaxed? You feel relaxed? Boo is on his favorite part of the bed.
He's waiting for his turn on the cat tower. Or maybe he's just enjoying the breeze. There's a really nice, cool breeze coming through the window. It's supposed to be in the 60s today and sunny, so it's supposed to be a nice day. How you doing, Simba? He's purring. Look at this, it's 9 a.m. I just walked into the room and Splash is watching mice on the tablet. So I don't know what was going on last night. I'm gonna have to check the security camera footage, but around five o'clock in the morning, there were cats running around like crazy. They were like, running from one end of the house to the other end of the house. I know there was two cats because I was listening for it and it woke me up and I was like, who's doing that? And then I realized it was two cats. So it was probably Splash and Simba. Here's Boo Boo's in the cat tower. He's looking outside. From here, he could watch what's on the tablet. He could also watch Splash and Simba and he can look out the windows at the same time. So in this room, I have these really nice windows. They're fairly large. They're almost like, almost like picture windows. And they have a beautiful view of the woods and I could see down the street. Um, and it's prime real estate in this room. And I used to have two swivel chairs in front of the windows. This is one of the swivel chairs. Um, so I used to have both of them in front of the windows with a little table between them. It was really cute and it was like the perfect spot for, you know, just hanging out, sitting and reading a book or having a cup of tea. Um, and the reason why I got the swivel chairs is because you could look out the windows and then you could easily just swivel around and watch the TV or join in a conversation with whoever is sitting on the sofa or pay attention to whatever else is going on in the room. So it was really nice because you could swivel, look outside, and then just swivel and look at what's going on in the room. But when the cats came inside, they really, really loved looking out this window. So uh, it now has cat towers in front of it. And this has changed. Sometimes I've had shelves under the windows. Uh, but because uh, of Ditto in the recovery room, I moved the shelves into that room and those are under the window in that room uh, just because they're easier to keep clean uh, than these would have been. So these were in um, the recovery room uh, before, uh, but when Ditto was bleeding and drooling, um, I didn't want him to do that all over these cat towers. It would be like impossible to clean. Uh, but with the shelves, it's just much easier to uh, to wipe that off, and that wasn't an issue. So this is one of the many sacrifices that I've made uh, for the cats in this house. Um, I've given up uh, the aesthetic of this room, and I've given up the view through the windows to the cats, so. Now they're both watching mice videos. The cats love anything that looks like grass. They have some real grass there to munch on, but that hunting box, uh, they love it, and they love that grass square that Boo is watching the tablet on. And of course, the scratch and rolls, and then that other uh, toy. So this is like their little fake grass area. Today is fish day, and this is what the cats are having for breakfast. They're having some Earthborn Holistic Monterey Medley, which is skipjack tuna and grilled mackerel dinner in gravy. 
They're also having some pure harmony, salmon, ocean fish, crab, and shrimp recipe in gravy. They're each gonna get a quarter of a can. Um, so they get a quarter of a can of the Earthborn and then a quarter of the can of the smaller can. And they're also getting a little bit of this homemade baked fish. This is what their plates look like with a little bit of the three different foods. They're all eating their breakfast. So the reason why I give them like two or three different foods to choose from on fish day is because sometimes they might not like um, one of the cans that I open because, I mean, Boo loves canned food, but the other one's not so much. So I like to give them some options. So let's say Splash does not like one of the canned foods. He could then swap it with Simba or Stella, who might not like what he likes or vice versa. I just find it works works out better that way. And then I had some leftover fish in my refrigerator. So that's why they're getting a little bit of the uh, fresh baked fish also. We'll see if they like it. It's Gulf of Maine redfish, which I had for the first time the other day and it was really good. It looks like Splash really likes it. He went straight for that fresh fish. It looks like Simba's going for the uh, Earthborn Holistic as well as Stella. And I can't tell what Boo's eating. Boo's looks like he's going back and forth with a few different things on his plate. So that's what the cats are having for breakfast today. It's about 2.35 p.m. I'm just about to go for a walk or go sit outside and get some sun. I've been working all morning, staring at my computer. My eyes are all fatigued. And here's Boo hanging out on the day sofa. I'm going to open his window so he gets some fresh air. He looks very comfortable. And here's Stella. She's taking a nap on the bed. She thinks she's a human. She's using the pillows. Right, Stella? You go back to sleep. Don't let me bother you. Put your head back down. Thank you for watching this Lucky Pearls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.